Scott Brown with Greenwood, another home energy. While we're waiting for the rest of the other unit to cool, we're going to play with this one. We've already re-greased these bearings. It spins pretty nice. The reason why it's slow is the new grease hasn't broke in yet. Anyway, we're going to make a redneck grease cap for that. But to start off with right here, we've already cut these to the right length. Slap these in. I tighten this all the way down and then backed it off a quarter turn. There, that's full. Yeah, it's a good idea. I bring it up about two, three nuts length up. Get this out of here. Okay. <laughs> Using these holes, two sets of holes. Set, snug it. Next one. A little further down. About right. Not set it up. A little further back, right there. The next one. Yeah, go ahead and land on me. Let me show them how I take care of it. See you later, mosquito. No sense slapping the skin and bringing the blood to the surface of your track more. I don't get to show people that that often. Oh, it's much easier. You got a wrench spinning that nut? Don't cut that out. <laughs> That's a neat little trick. Take them together. We need a little bit more. There we go. Get out of got all your blue tips out in the front. How do you like that, Bill? Perfect. I like it. That would be tight. Good deal. Three quarter inch. Yes, sir. Three quarter. Until these filings out here. <laughs> nah, I got paint in the holes, so I gotta figure out. Come on. Maybe I should have cleaned them out first for fast assembly. There we go. There it is. Now it's out. I think the holes are a little tight there, but a little tight. That just works. That just fits. It's getting closer. Getting better. Mm -hmm. I think we're starting to clean the holes out a little bit. Uh, just one hole right here, mainly. Oh, wait, wait, hold up one second. No, I don't want to use that rubber hammer. What? Too much vibration. My hand's a lot softer. Okay. Yeah, mine don't spin that easy. 
got that marine grease in it. Yeah. Well, that rotor's is on. Oh man, that's nice. Look All at right. that. Look at that. All that right. is nice. Alright, we'll get back in the camera. Let's get the stator. Take these nuts up. Pretty close to where they ought to be. I don't have no jacking screws on this thing. But I don't think we're gonna need it. Okay, right there. This one ain't near as dangerous. Right about. Alright, everything's sitting up about a quarter inch high. We can bring it down afterward. Alright, the nuts on the top of the rotor. So it ain't free floating. And these sit just below the level of the magnets. That keeps them from hitting the inside of the stator when the stator comes down. Is that adjusted up about where I want? Yeah. Oh, it's too high. Too high. Too high. There we go. Get that down. Alright, let's tighten these up. A little bit rough. Hey, Boomer, hold this thing down. Okay. Got it, right? Set it down between the magnets. <laughs> I wish they'd make a aluminum wrench or stainless steel. That'd be nice. Hmm. There we go. That's two. Hmm. Yep, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be careful, I promise. <laughs> I got my thumbprint in it. That's a nice. And which one are we going to call the top on this? Do it make a difference? Probably over here than over here. Mm -hmm. Wow, that <laughs> gap is close. Almost touching. Boy, I got them close. All right, take the wrench, guard my fingers, bring the gap up a little bit. Okay, I like the gap here. Turn it around edge 90 degrees so people can see you turn. Okay. <clears throat> get a close up on it when I'm finished okay. up. Okay. That is super close. An axial flux, one of the only alternators that you can adjust the gap on. Take the camera off, give you a show here. Notice I got the screws right there. Come on, focus, do your job. And there's the rotor. Come on. And there's my gap. Not much of a gap, but you can see it turn. There's light between all of it. See if you'll spin all the way. No touchy. I got about a sixteenth of a gap. So what I'm going to do is bring it up. Guess we can see it if I back up. There's the gap. Barely see it. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Give it a little bit more clearance. 
and then I'm going to put the nuts on the top and lock it and then we're going to go set the other rotor on. Alright, keep it spinning there. I'm looking at almost an eighth of a gap, eighth of an inch gap over here and just a little bit more than an eighth of an inch gap right here. It's kind of hard to get it to show in the camera because I can't hard to keep the angle all the way across it. There we go. And you can see it all the way across. Spins nicely. So we're going to get some voltage test here in a minute. And then we'll go ahead and try it with the second rotor. I'm Scott Brown with Greenwind and Other Home Energies with Raymond Head and Boomtown Laboratories. Alrighty, and they're off. And they're running around the track. There they are. And they're rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And they're going to come around. <laughs> what you see here is a little bit of magnetic flux staying in the with the magnets passing underneath it's making them flip and it we thought it was kind of funny just to look at them do a little flop so anyway just for the giggles of it <laughs> something a little bigger for those who don't have the resolution and there he come around the corner and he's passing oh, that's the instant replay there we go lots of fun anyway i'm scott brown with green Lynn.